quick guide to three Nike socks, no show socks, and the most expensive being on the left here, the Nike Elite cushioned, no show, but with a tab. I'll get that to that later. Um, secondly, the dry fit cotton, no show. And thirdly, the lower in the range, we have the Nike Performance cotton. And so let's start with the top. These are cushions and you just get one pair per pack. These were 10 British pounds per pack. As you see, you've got a dry, a dry fit brand and it's a left and a right sock individually. And you've got quite a tough grip surface here, which has got quite a lot of cushioning. Then you've got the material here to help grip and cushion. And at the back, although it's called no show, there's a reflective Nike swoosh and that will actually stick out of some kinds of trainers, sneakers, so um, I'm not sure why they used the name No Show. Um, very high quality, very durable, uh, very expensive and I am quite pleased with the performance of these if you're going on very very long walks and runs and or shorter on hard surfaces. Um, these are good. The downside is that obviously the material is thicker and so it's not going to pass air through and dry as quickly. Number two, this is the mid-range. You get three per pack and it's also a dry fit brand. You get a left and a right one and then no show. Um, probably say this is the best of the, the three in the range uh, as you can see. It's got some reinforcement uh, in the arch of the foot there and nice and lightweight, nice and easy to wear, it dries out quite quickly um, and then the lowest in the range, the bottom of the range is the performance cotton, again you get three per pack and these were on special offer uh, three, four, six or seven pounds from Nike's own website. Um, size there in the back so just you don't mix them up but these fit on either foot and although they look quite similar to the dry fit they're not uh, dry fit and I'd say they're very good value but overall I do prefer the dry fit just because they are more comfortable and good for wicking moisture. Uh, just a final note that I have tried you a heat gear socks and I wasn't very impressed that the wicking seemed to get quite wet and stay wet. Um, saying that the only caveat being that I've only tried this model in the range um, but uh, I'm not going to try any other heat gear. I'm quite happy with the Nike products I've tried. Um, so if I was going to buy any more personally I would buy the dry fit cotton so it's medium performance, medium price, and um, very, very uh, good value, really, if you compare the price to what you get. Um, I may be tempted to buy a few more elites if I'm going on long treks, and um, obviously the price is quite steep. Um, £10 for a pair, that's equivalent to about $15, $16 for a pair. Um, there we go, one last final shot.